Hello fellow Blender users and welcome to another Blender 3D Animators Blender tutorial. Now today what we're going to be working with uh, is fluid simulation. Most of you um, could probably could have been wondering um, something about fluid simulation, even how to do it. Um, well we're going to be going over that today so why don't we get started. First make sure um, you have Blender open obviously go into wireframe mode with the Z key and now what I want you to do is shift D to duplicate your cube click right away size 2 numpad 2 enter select your center cube size 0.5 on the number pad enter so now you have uh, two cubes a big one and a small one select your big cube uh, sorry if I'm rushing we have a lot to cover go down here to your editing tab physics tab and click on fluid domain now this is our domain for our fluids which means any fluid that we have inside our domain this is the maximum outer edges that it'll go to so um, let's start it out at a uh, low resolution 25 you do not have to do this I have a really old computer um, only 1.4 gigahertz with 256 megabytes of RAM so um, I can't do very good uh, simulations that, uh, for a tutorial anyway. Fluid and then click on fluid after you selected your inner cube. Now this me this is telling Blender that this cube is going to turn into a fluid and go down here and splash. So now if we select our outer cube we can either press bake or press alt A. I'll just do alt A. And since it's at a very very low resolution it'll go down and quickly splatter. And um... I have no idea what just happened. So let's just ignore that and pretend that did not happen. Oh. Bake. I guess we should bake. I'm sorry. You do not do Alt A. I was thinking of um... like cloth and... and soft bodies do not and particles do not press all day so if you press bake I'm already um, you're gonna see a status bar up here uh, frame 176 out of 255 the default number of frames is 255 frames and once this uh, goes up to 250 since it's uh, very quick now press Alt A, or you can even smooth it first. Set smooth in the object tab. Press Alt A, and very basic because I have a very very low resolution. Um, sorry, I keep saying um, it's driving myself nuts. But that's how a uh, basic fluid simulation is done. You can also add. Uh, if you go back into your physics tab, you can add uh, particles to generate particles, one surface subdividing, surface smoothing. You can also have a uh, like thick like honey, oil, water, you can even make it manual. Uh stuff like that. So let's try to rebake after I add some particles and uh surface smoothing. Nice he's going a little slow and now we're only at nine so far. Fifteen, twenty, twenty six you know, it, 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 it's actually relatively fast um, for my computer anyway. But um, let's just wait till this uh, bakes. And while this is baking, I just would like to once again remind everybody. Um, I'd like everybody to that watches these tutorials to request a tutorial. And if they watch one of my tutorials, post a video response of what you made using my tutorials. That would uh, be actually pretty neat too. So I could see how good my tutorials helped out everybody. See if they're actually helping, you know. And then leave some comments, rate some of my videos. Um, you know, check them out. It's pretty good. And by the way, um, if anybody out there like knows Super 3 Boy pretty good, I mean, I've sent him a message or two, but that's about it. Um, not trying to copy him. I'm just decided to do a couple of the Blender 3D tutorials. Well, not a couple. It's going to be a pretty big series similar to Super 3 Boys, but 
you know, you gotta kinda, it's gonna be the same subjects, you know, some of the tutorials, obviously, because you don't have that much to do with Blender, um, if you're using, like, features of Blender, if you're doing, like, how to model a car or something that's different, or model a, you know, a birthday cake or something, but, alright, so that, 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 um, rate relatively far, so let's just animate it a bit, all day. It's a little different, nah, nothing really different at all, but anyway, that's fluid simulation. Also, what I can do is I will, for your amusement, add a collision. Uh, rotate it like that. So now our fluid will splash down onto that, so if we select this, click fluid, obstacle, shell, um, click back on your liquid, bake, and watch your bake. It kind of sticks right to it, sort of, but, uh, I guess that's how it's gonna go with my computer. I mean, it's at a low resolution. A lot of people for good liquid simulations, um, like, 300 resolution, 200's not bad, 100 is okay, I mean, some people do, like, a thousand res- it's just ridiculous, um, by the way, this one guy out there, his username is Chris Schneider, K-R-I-S-S, -S, and then Schneider somehow, I forget how to spell it. He's pretty good I, on my other account. I'm actually working with him on Blender, so, um, check out, <coughs> check out some of his, uh, his videos. He doesn't have any tutorials, but check out his most recent videos, um, that's what he's working on, and Effect Skateboarding, E-F-F-E-K-T, Skateboarding. Um, that is my old account. I have, uh, particle, uh, simulation up there, kind of like a spinning galaxy. I'm recreating that for anybody who's seen that. I'm recreating it, and hopefully it'll look pretty good. Alright, so now that this is baked through a couple frames, let's check it out. Let's rotate our view. Alt-A. Not bad. Drips down. Bit of flickering, but not bad. Not bad. Kind of flickers a bit. Hey, I can't complain, you know, it's just a slow resolution, but, um, I think that's gonna be it for my fifth tutorial. Our next tutorial will be on particles. And after that, we're gonna go to soft bodies and cloth. But the next one after this next tutorial, particle systems. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is Blender 3D Animations signing out. See you later, guys.